couple of times, um, uh, in, in the next like five or six minutes, I'm really worried about the game plan here from Taran. It's just because of the heroes that they've picked, they just don't have the great transition as Abba. That's some good chaining, and with the smoke down, Abba, oh, is he? No, he's not. The final swipe from Ice. In yeah, that the smoke screen. Faded. That was a very good timing from Taran to be able to secure that kill, so... One of the lanes we kind of expected to be harder to kill the team outside of the, you know, Ling hitting level 6 on the line. So until that point, having the Blink Dagger doesn't really accomplish much for him. And with that said, Lakels even goes for Vanguard. So he's going to be even tankier than he was before. Drums just allows the Batrider to stay in the fight longer. Oh, Lifestealer. That's tragic. Chrono and the DK stun come through. And Lifestealer, this hero that's meant to start racing forward with his item build, does get taken down. But Boom Bell towards the mid lane, chased into the smoke cloud. And Yamate over the top with the laser from the Tinker, the four man rotation in. It's a trade off, but it's not the best. It's a terrible trade, actually. Okay, they commit two heroes, kill a Lifestealer, and they're going to get. Second. But they're going to desperately need that magical damage burst to deal with the DK. And also, at some stages in the game, just being able to get bots too. You can teleport onto the Ricky, for example, go for crazy things like this. Oh, X. that Chrono is so beautiful. They've caught ice in it as well, but Tinker is the guy they want to try and focus down, even with the smoke screen out. Ling looking for the finger of death, but Abba a little bit too tanky, and they even expend it, not getting the kill while my pro on the front lines. Had another second until his stun was up. I still are infested inside of the Bat Rider. And ET will know, right? ET, ET will realize he gets the. Uh, yeah, all the bonus stuff. He did hit a couple of heroes with the spirit, so they'll know that there's people actually lurking around behind the tower. The lasso finally onto Mipro. There's nothing to save him here, and the nuke damage from the finger of death will finish him off as Psyonix retreats back out. There's the ulti from Ricky. But Trust will retreat back to a safe distance. Oh, will they jump back in? The three-man chrono now the Earth comes through. The damage up oh and the chain frost as well! Oh my god, Towering! You were in a ton of trouble, my friends. Abba will get ripped apart by the life steal, but the kills chases Yamate, spins him down, but the stick charge is there. Finally, armor toggle through from Psyonix, keeps him alive, and they've turned this back. Towering, they've got the damage and they've got the control. The Tinker with a rocket clears up the Juggernaut, and even with the Astral down, the stomp will not slow down the life stealer. But the TP out, and there are any stuns to stop him. Towering. An amazing fight for them, even after a three-man Chrono Earth Splitter Chain Frost out from Trust. Honestly, the bounces were pretty unfortunate. There were a couple of creeps in the mix, so instead of getting like the bounces onto the Earth Splitter, it was kind of hit on that trigger button to blink in. They need to be careful about not getting too impatient. Like you want Chain Frost and Chrono Sphere off cooldown before you start pushing into this tower for real, because if you're going to be taking the fights, you need to make sure you're prepared. Oh man, my pros in there. The stun comes through, but this Tinker in a lot of trouble, taken out by the Earthblade and the kills on the front line, spinning through onto Ling, and even with Yamate going in on the target, my pro is so tanky. They can't bring him down. The armor toggles come through, and the Dragonite now enabled by the Chain Frost keeps on going, oh turns back God. to kill, and oh, Taring, no. No, Tinker, you came back into this one, but the Chrono's still available, and Trust clear up through six. Well, at least they will well, when, we, the we lag, assume, yeah. when the lag, you know, uh, kind of fades through. That was, that was just a total disaster. Maybe Tearing thought they had a couple more seconds before the Sphere and the Chain Frost were going to come off cooldown. Obviously, being the longest cooldown ultimates on the side of Sig Trust, but you know they were going. Tinker is very good at these high ground defenses, but it's the slow chip away from the Dragonite and now the spread across. Lays are not going to be able to bounce between them if they keep their distance like this and focusing they, they down both do racks. Here. Th this is like the perfect Oh, position. there's initiation in. Catches the Tinker as well on the back, and Abba BKBs through this as Ling is shredded by the Juggernaut. This might just be it. Buybacks come through from both of them, and Trust will retreat a little bit. The BKB ends for Mipro, but this is a heart DK with how much armor? 38! You can't burn through this! Surely not! The Lifestealer starts jumping him down, and there's no saving power here from Trust. They leave the DK high and dry as the rest of them retreat the hell out of this Radiant base. That, that was actually a huge misplay by the Void. You didn't even need to jump there. So you're in the scenario where you have a perfect concave. Your two cores are hitting two racks. Your Void sitting in the back smoked. <laughs> they tried. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but they tried it, but... Keep in mind, I the mean, way that they killed him last time was five manning him in front of tier four towers. Sure. That's how they killed the Dragonite last time. Well, they've, they've, they've caught the Tinker. They've actually got this with the Chain Frost as well. They've, they've, they've caught the damage. Oh, he cancelled this TP. I guess he just didn't need to go after seeing uh, Yamate, unfortunately, last sort of creep. And that's 70 seconds without your biggest. But he can harass a lot. And that's an issue because their biggest problem is not being able to kill fast enough. So what happens when you last at the DK? Okay, well, you're going to have a Blink Void. 
Yamate, he's been caught in ice. He's just being right clicked down, even with his blink tag. He can't reposition himself, and life still is inside of this one. Omni Slash, slow! Oh yep. Uh, even Abyssal bladed up. This looks like it might be the beginning of the, well, not even the beginning of the end, but just the end for Taring as they lose three at the Roche Pit, wanted to contest that one. That was such a lucky bash. Like, like Hells walked in and just first hit and bash a Life Stealer. You want to initiate as the Batrider, but the two heroes that you can possibly go on due to positioning are just too damn tanky. Man, they just walk up into March. They don't, they do not give a damn. Tier 3 is falling. Towering Ricky, there's the blink forward onto the healing ward, but the stun immediately from my pro seals his doom. And on the back end, they've actually got this stun down. The stomp onto the two, the lion's gone, and the tinker chased down by the DK. No mana for a stun, and the lasso catches both of the cores. Yamate, he doesn't have a four step, he can't drag them into the fountain. The plan has failed, they can't kill them off, and the final abyssal blade. Salt in the wound as the laser bounces back between them, but like hells with a BKB. Clears up yet another, and Fountain dives in. Uh, the plan was to drag them into the fountain, but they're walking into the fountain, Rascal. They don't give a damn. Yeah, unfortunate here for, uh, for Orange Tearing. Not the, not the strongest showing we've ever seen from the team, but uh, gotta give props to Sig Trust. Seen two really solid drafts today, one from TMC in the game. Uh,